All right, so today I am going to demonstrate how to apply multi-layer bandaging on a lower extremity that has primary lymphedema. Um, I'm going to go through the different layers that are involved. Of course, it varies from patient to patient depending on the severity and what the needs are and functionality of the patient. So the first thing you want to do is have all your supplies ready before you get started and have, of course, explained to the patient what the purpose of multi-layer bandaging um, is for, okay? So the first thing that we're going to apply is a stockinette. Trichofix is one of the brands that you can use and it's soft and it can also go all the way up to the thigh. So if the patient is able to bend the knee, you ask for their help. If it's difficult for them, then you may have to bend their knee or move their extremity. Prior to applying all of this, you have done your MLD and also uh, skin care and apply lotion. Okay, so the next thing that is going to get done is application of a toe wrap. Uh, we want to make sure that the toes are wrapped to prevent any backflow once you put the bandages on. When you apply the, this is a one inch toe wrap, you don't want to go too tight. You're not digging in. It's really just laying on and actually covering the dorsum of the foot. And then everybody has a different technique. I start with the little toe, go around it twice. Come back around and we keep going until we get to the big toe. This should not dig into the skin of the patient. Okay, so it should lay on nice and flat. And we go around each toe twice. You want to make sure there is enough coverage on each toe to prevent any fluid from accumulating in the open spots, okay? So you go around. A lot of other therapists, I know they start at the big toe and they leave out the little toe. If there is no swelling, when there is swelling, you want to contain the small toe as well. And then you come on up to the big toe cover it all and there you tuck it under or you can tape it. I find that tucking it under is fine. With um, this patient, what we're going to do is we're going to apply some foam over the dorsum of the foot just to help break up some of the fibrosis and that's the purpose of foams, different um, textures of foams and density helps break up um, some of the fibrosis that can occur, which can trap the lymphatic fluid. Okay, so we are going to be using uh, this foam here. It's called a gray foam. It's a quarter inch. And we're gonna come around at the ankles where she also gets a lot of swelling. We're gonna contain it with a layer of the cotton just to hold it in place. All right. After that, we're going to use um, a white foam. All right, and if you can bend your knee and you can relax your foot onto my abdomen, we're gonna just lay it on and kind of cover half of the layer of the foam and with this we're going to come up all the way up onto the knee and in the back of the knee because we need to give it a little bit of recess we can double it up in the back come around and end here okay good so You can help contain the white foam with ISO band. 
which keeps it all in place. These are, um, this is why it's called multi-layer. As the patient progresses and there is less need for all these bandages, you can diminish some of them or sometimes you may need to use more. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the different size bandages. So we're gonna use the smaller one, an eight centimeter for the foot, then a 10 centimeter for the lower leg, uh, two of those in order to get up to the knee. And once we go above the knee, which we are gonna be wrapping today, we're gonna to use um, a 12 centimeters up above that. Uh, so let's start with the foot. And you always want to have your bandage roll away from you. You don't wanna have it in this form where you have to kind of pull it. Just remember, it's like a snail, okay? So it should be able to roll easily. You want to start at the base of the toes and you anchor it well, go around it once and give it a little pull to stabilize it. Not to the point that it's a tourniquet, but enough that it's snug to help uh, push the fluid in the upward direction. And always remember, it's gonna be a bit more um, compression at the foot, less, a lot less as you go up the leg. So from here, we're going to, I am demonstrating today a circular um, bandaging technique. And then there's also the herringbone or spica as it's called. But today I'm demonstrating the, the spiral technique. So you wanna come on top of the foot, make sure that everything is contained. Then you go to the ankle, come back around, and you wanna revisit that same spot again. You give it a little tug and you pull up. You wanna to try to make sure that there are not wrinkles as you're going through this, okay? So then we come down Pull up a little bit again. You want to make sure that nothing is open on the bottom of the foot. So your first bandage is really going to cover the foot and just right above the ankle. And that's your first bandage. You have your tape laid out. And you can tape that first one. And then we're gonna go to the second one, which is a 10 centimeter. So with this one, we're gonna start at the ankle. And we're gonna keep going up. I'm gonna have you bend your knees slightly. Thank you. And then you cover 50% of the bandage every time you go around. She has a small leg, so this one really comes up very high. So again, we use another piece of tape to anchor that. Okay. And then we're going to go on to the knee level and the thigh. So now we're going to do the upper thigh level. So we cover this, the lower, the foot with foam. We've used uh, the comfort foam for the lower part. Now we're gonna do the same thing in the upper thigh area. And remember we have double in the back so that it, there is some cushion. So when there is bending, there is not, it's not digging in with the bandages. So we're gonna start with the foam. If you can spread the feet apart just a little bit, thank you. And again, we're just gonna layer this foam without a stretch. We're going to bring it all the way up to the thigh. Okay. Use a little tape 
to hold it in place. Or you could tuck the corners in. There we go. So now we're going to start below where we finished off with a previous bandage. You don't want to start above that. You want to start right below, anchor it below the knee. Okay, and we're going to come across above the knee. I want you to slightly bend your knee. I don't want the knee fully straight when we're doing this. And we come above it. And then we drop it back down, cover the knee. So we give it a little bit of a cross shape here just because it's an angle of a joint that needs to move. Okay, so then from here, we go back up to that circular method that we were doing below. And tape and then we're going to do um there are two theories some people go the opposite direction other therapists continue in the same direction and the learner method that i was taught under we go in opposite directions um, but i've learned also that it works otherwise so we start again below where we finish we come back up and we're going to finish it all the way at the top of the foam. And again, remember, 50% overlap of the bandage. There we go. And we hold it in place with tape. So now you want to check for your consistency. You want to make sure that it's firm at the foot, the lower calf, and a little bit more mushy up as you're going up. If you notice that it's too tight at the top and loose at the bottom, it's time to redo it because otherwise the fluid can be pushed downward. The idea is this multi-layer bandaging is to get the fluid to push up into the lymphatic system so that it can get out of the body. So I always like to finish when I do a whole leg with the 12 centimeters, um, start it at the bottom, contain it all, going up. And this is really just to help contain everything in place. all the way to the top. With someone much taller, you probably would need more bandages. This works perfectly for my patient. And you wanna hold all this in place. And that's a wrap.